Hello everyone, and welcome to chapter one of my massive blender tutorial. My name is Peter, and I will be showing you the basics of blender today. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go right to the top of the page, and you'll notice here that my mouse has turned into a little up and down arrow thingy. And when you see that, right click, and you'll get this little menu. So you want to choose split area. It'll let you split the screen into two viewable spaces. Here's one side, here's the other side. And then for this one, you'll notice here the uh, Y and X. On your numpad, press the 1, and it'll this will it's now front view. That's what we want. Here for the side, we'll hit the 3, make it side view, so we have front and side. Makes things really easy to work with. Alright, so you'll notice that the cube is a little small. What you can do to fix that is by simply zooming in. You can do that with the mouse wheel. So we'll do that here with both sides. Alright, so I'm sure you'll notice that it's just a cube. I mean, it's a, a very pretty looking cube, but there's not much you can do with it at the moment. So what you're going to want to do is hit the tab button, and that'll let you go into edit mode, very handy mode, pretty much you need it for everything. And now you're able to select the individual vertice vertices. You do that by right-clicking them. Don't ever use the uh, left-click. It does some weird thing. And I, 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 I don't know how it works. Just use the right-click button. Alright, so go back into uh, front view. Uh, oh, by the way, the A button will select all and deselect all. Very handy button to know. Uh, B button will give you this uh, box drag thing and it lets you select stuff in a box. Hitting B twice will give you a paintbrush and using the, the mouse wheel will let you make it bigger and smaller. So we can use that to like paint select different amount of vertices. Using the paint selector tool thingy for grab vertices, grab these top two groups and we're going to run through some simple keyboard commands. Uh, the first one, the G key, that'll let you grab things. Uh, right clicking after moving into a position will reset it if you don't like that position or you grabbed it by accident. Uh, left key will set it in that position so it's now there. I can grab it again from that position and reset it will go back to there. Um, there's the scale key, now that's S on the keyboard and that lets you scale things bigger and smaller, obviously. And the rotate, and that, well, rotates, it's the R key. Alright, now select all the vertices and hit K, and what this is, is the loop cut menu. So I guess first I'll show you the midpoint cut. Choose that, and it doesn't matter where you drag a line, just drag a line anywhere through your box, and then hit enter and you'll notice that it's cut in exact straight line right through the box. Uh, just control Z that, doesn't really matter. Uh, now go knife exact, the uh, the second one option in the, in the same menu, and draw you know a random line, doesn't matter where, and you'll notice that it's cut an exact line through it, right where you dragged it. And the last tool that I use, actually I use it probably the most out of all of them, is the extrude tool. So what you want to do is grab any two, whatever, as long as it's a face of vertices, uh, move them somewhere, you know, rotate them, do something fun with them, and then hit the E key. And that'll open up the extrude menu, so choose region. And uh, well, what it does here is it extrudes whatever you have selected. It'll make a duplicate of it and allow you to move it out of where it was originally copied from. So you can do that a few times. You know, whatever, just make some random shape, and then try selecting more of them, extruding those, even put them inside each other. It really, it's really up to you. You can do whatever you want with them. So you have like this fun little shape here. I don't know, maybe uh, I'll extrude it again and have it come out. Yeah, that's fun. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. 
All right, so the last thing I want to discuss is the spacebar menu. So what you want to do now is hit tab to go back into object mode and delete this. Uh, we don't need it anymore. You can either hit X or delete. They both do the same thing. Now hit spacebar and go to mesh and let's import a, a simple cube. All these have their own options like circle. You can choose how many sides you want the circle to have spheres, how many vertices the spheres have, lots of little things. You can even add a monkey, but we just want to add a cube. And it's going to add it to wherever your 3D cursor is, and you can set that by clicking the left key anywhere, but normally it's best to have it right in the middle. I tend to not try to move it. Uh, but in any case, now you've added a simple cube, and we're right back to where we started. Again, tab. You can also add new objects when in edit mode and it'll add it to the same object. So we can add, you know, another plane and, you know, there we go, the plane. It'll always set it to, uh, it'll face where the camera is. So if you want to have it straight, then be in one of your side views or top views or whatever. So that's pretty much it for the basics of Blender. I hope this tutorial was useful and educational. Uh, thanks for watching.